call from Red Badger TV. Hopefully the gaffers are in a bit better mood than they have been previous weeks. So here we go. So start with you, Baller. I don't know where to start, so I'll hand it over to you. Um, I think first and foremost, it's a great game of football um, for the neutral, definitely. They've come and had a real good go, and we've had a real good go back. Um, it's literally that last 20, 25, it was like a basketball game. And like I said, it's testament to them. They've come and not settled for a 1-1 away from home, so it's made it exciting. Um, but yeah, back to us, we kind of dug the lads out a little bit, I think, the last few weeks in terms of character maybe um, but yeah we couldn't have asked for anything else there I think we've done that's the second time we've done it this year as well um, <laughs> so uh, yeah it's uh, it's massive for the boys we're really proud like I say we've just said in there to everyone to a man proud of every single one of them today um, one little bit of lapse of concentration for their goal but apart from that not far off a faultless performance and obviously I come to ball if the goal scoring so I come to you about defending DT <laughs> Um, <laughs> we're going to have to cover it, aren't we? Give us your thoughts on that goal that has conceded. I batter the defenders because I'm a striker, and we need to do we need to do better. But to be fair, I just said to said to the lads, the one time we've not dealt with the ball, it's cost us, and that seems to be us at the moment. You know, we our mistakes get punished. Mm. Um, but you know, second off, you know, funny I said to Bonnie about two minutes left. I said. The goals killed us, but we was I thought we was on top. We had a couple of chances where we could have put probably the game to bed, and it's like we we, we conceded a chance. Um, and you know, Romain and Ty they played together. I think they just it's it, you know we've spoken. It's a decision now where we believe in both of them, and we're we're we're, we've got, we're gonna back them. They need games together to get that consistency. I thought other than that mistake, there was both superb. They headed everything, it was aggressive, they won the tackles. Um, but yeah, that's football sometimes, you know. For us as strikers, we can miss two or three chances and score an hat trick. And, you know, the papers see Daryl Thomas hat trick again. Um, <laughs> but, you know, defenders and keepers, you make a mistake, nine times out of ten, it leads, in, leads to a, a goal. So, yeah, it's, it's something that we'll continue working on. But as we, I've just said, you know, it, we will back them. We're, we've got a, another centre half coming in in the week. And that's our job. We've got to figure out what the best partnership is um, and back four that's going to, you know, get us results like this. Now, I know you're going to say it's all about the 11 players, but two words for you, Kyle Tomlin. I'll speak first before it. He, Tom is his love child. So, yeah, you know, as I said to you at the start of the season, when we spoke, I don't want to keep saying about when we spoke to him in the summer, but he needs to be playing week in week out and you know is that we're the, I'm sure the reports that teams get is stop Kyle Tomlin mm. because you know him OC Tyler Blake Ty, Tyler's work rate today again like it goes on it goes unnoticed the, the little bits when he's playing as a one up front but Tom is, is growing in confidence and you know we, we've said to him hopefully he'll be with us for the whole season and then hopefully step four next year but you know if it goes on and gets a good move in the summer, he deserves it because he's, he's put the work in over the summer and you can see he's dominating the opposition who he's playing against and you know, we said to him in the summer you, you can get 15, 20 goals, I think he's on he's 10, on 10 now, I think, yeah. in September so yeah, we don't want to say too much because <coughs> the Wolves will be at the door <laughs> okay. and you know, he's, he's still got a massive budget here, we chuck him money at it but I know about 4 or 5 clubs locally that got more money than us that yeah. chuck money at it so yeah, we're just, you know, that's one of the reasons we brought him to the club, we know what a tremendous footballer he is and you know he's playing with confidence and the best thing about Tomo now is he's one of our leaders yep. mm. and for the 10 gauge of 2021 you know that will put him in good stead for the rest of his career um, mm. and we look to him you know in, in, in times like today and he took his he took his goals superbly so long may that continue um, and everybody stay away from Tomo until the summer please. <laughs> Anything to add baller? No. That's it. <laughs> well, on that note, then. <laughs> I think um, just a mention for Danny Elliott today who's, um, yep. and Hollis. Certainly, I know we've said it about Hollis all season, but Danny's come in, not played much football, uh, well, not played any football at his level all season, and he, he's, look, he's been unbelievable today. So he's, he's broke up play, moved the ball, um, and yeah, maybe that little bit that we was that we was missing. So yeah, it was it was unbelievable today. Just need to try and uh, persuade him to stay for a few more now. Well, obviously, it's your two tactical genius that won us the game. So, on that note, congratulations, enjoy your evening. Okay, well done, lads.
Cheers, lads.